question. How do you know that you suck at YouTube? How do you know that you, as a YouTube content creator, as a whole, suck at what you do? Answer, as soon as you start talking or doing what you do, everybody just leaves. Now, how do you know that you do that? How do you know whether or not you suck? Well, there's this tool called audience retention. It's a semi-new tool, I believe, that YouTube has, and you can use it to check audience retention on your videos. That means that you get to see how long they watch. Like there's a little uh, line chart, it starts at 100, and it slowly goes down throughout the video length. So you can see about what time they drop off and how many of them drop off. Now for me, within the first minute or so, I've lost half to three quarters of the audience. And by the time I get to the end, I have less than 20% of people still watching. And for me, that's very, very horrible. Since for the most part, I mean, it's not nearly as formal in that manner, but I almost think of it as being like a thesis. Like I have a point and I'm arguing it and I'm explaining what's going on. But if people start listening to me like, oh, he's boring and they leave, then that's not very good for me. It's kind of, it's really weird. I mean... I guess I shouldn't expect much different because I'm getting a few hundred views on a video, yet I'm only getting a certain number of comments and likes. And it generally tends to be the same people, so I guess I should expect that people aren't going to be consistently watching all my videos all the way through. It's just very weird, though. I guess when I make a video, like five minutes of me talking, and I see 300 views, I expect that 300 people listen to me talk. But no, they count all the views. Like if somebody popped in for 30 seconds, they say, oh, you suck, and then they go away and never come back. That still counts as a view. So that's very interesting to me. I guess that's a sign that I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I'm not interesting enough. Maybe I'm not funny enough. Maybe I should start cracking jokes. Maybe I should have a flashy intro where I show all this cool techno design stuff. Only thing though, I've seen people who have intros that are like 30 seconds long and they put it at the beginning of every single one of their videos. It really makes you dread clicking on the video. It's like, what's the formula though? I don't even know what normal audience retention is. Like. If the average person uploads a video, how many people watch it to the end? How many watch it halfway through? Does it have anything to do with the length? I mean, I don't think my videos are too unreasonably long, but I upload a lot of them. I've been uploading pretty much every day for the past few weeks. Maybe that's it. Maybe people can't deal with all that. Maybe if I did that but they were all shorter, it wouldn't be a big of a deal. It's really weird. Uh, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, obviously. If I can see any bigger improvements that I can do to make myself better and to make people hold more interest in me, I'll do that as well. It's just very odd though. I mean, I never suspected that I would have such a low audience retention that the majority of people don't make it all the way through to what I'm saying. Like the majority of people already probably clicked away. They aren't listening to me anymore. If you made it here, you're one of the special people. Hi, special people. You're my friend and I love you. But besides my love for everybody who made it this far. Um, it's just a very weird thing that people, I, I guess if it's a five minute video where the thumbnail is clearly someone who looks like they're talking, like what do you expect? It's like you're expecting them to talk, right? Am I not saying the right things? Am I saying something they disagree with? I don't know, it's really weird. All right, for anybody who's watching this and you made it this far, are there any major complaints that you have about me? Is there any time you watch a video made by me and you say, like you're tempted to click away or you have clicked away in the past. Is there anything that I did that drove you towards that? Anything that you felt in particular could have been better? Anything about me as a whole that could be better? Because that's really weird. I don't want people clicking away. I want people to stick around. Maybe it's because I'm too rambly. I feel like I'm rambling, so I'm going to stop. But yeah, what do you think? Am I too rambly? Is there some major problem with me that makes people click away? Or is it just a bad coincidence?